Melody and I are heading up to Rosen Systems. It is an auction company that does... Stop right there. I am about to share something that no resellers ever share. The following information is how I find some of the best deals I have ever found in my entire reselling career. So buckle up. Bankruptcy auctions. And what I want to do in this video is tell you a little bit about how that works, show you some of the auctions, and hopefully film a little bit when we pick up our items. We dropped $2,300 at this auction. So here we go. This is Rosen System, and this is an auction house in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. They do a lot of bankruptcy auctions. And there is probably something similar to this close to you. So all I do is I search on Google for bankruptcy liquidation court-ordered auction houses. And you can put any state in there and you're going to find a place where you can start seeing if they're an auction house that offers the same kind of things that Rosen does. So we go to Rosen Systems. You have to make an account. And we're going to click on auctions. That'll give you some information. But up here, we're going to come up to upcoming auctions. And so like the August exchange, they do one of these every month. And we can go straight into the auction. And on lot zero, with at least with Rosen, is always the one that will tell you exactly what's going to happen in this auction. This one has a 15% buyer's premium. A lot of them are 10%. This is the most important thing right here is the inspection date. If you're going to bid in auctions, go inspect the auction. That'll give you so much more information than what you would ever get from looking at the pictures online. And I'll give you an example of that when I show you the auction that we got into and one of the reasons that it was important to go look at it. So anyway, that's the first item. I'm going to back up to that. These are the lots that are in this upcoming auction. This is the August exchange and this is all stuff that they've collected. I normally change this down here to 125 and like it's just tons of stuff. A lot of this won't be very good for selling on eBay, but if you watch their auctions, things will come up that are worthwhile. So we're going to go back and we're going to look at the previous auctions and I'll show you the one that we bid in. It was this one right here, the Modern Fit Menswear. This was a, a high-end clothing business in Dallas that closed. And this is the kind of stuff that I watch for. There were 141 total lots. Let me change this to 125. All right. And this one has already ended. You'll see that everything shows as completed. And as I scroll through here, eventually you're going to see the lots that I want. Now, I'm not logged in, so it won't bring mine up. But... These go in order, and when they have a closing time, if you bid in the last 30 seconds, it goes back up to 30 seconds. So it's a, what they call a soft close. Um, uh, Seven Downey Street is a great brand, so is Fisher & Baker, and you can see that the bids on these went pretty high. Normally what Melody and I are looking for is we're looking for things like this, where there's a bunch of items and... Um, your cost per item goes way down. Also with Rosen System, I know uh, because I've talked to them, they hate selling clothes. So if they come across these type boxes of clothes, they just throw them in the box and they guess. So we did end up winning a lot 45 for $385. And if you open this, it's these four pictures. That's it. They do get bigger, but that's what you're looking at. The reason I wanted this one is because of this right here. It's a Fisher & Baker. That's the CPO jacket. And I assumed this was going to be a Fisher & Baker, but I wasn't sure. And that is the back of the jacket. The reason I bid on this is when we looked at this box, this box was way too big to only have 30 items in it. And I know at Rosen, they've just thrown this stuff in a box. So we ended up getting this box for $385, but there weren't. 30 pieces in it, there were 49. I want to show you what this looks like while you're bidding. 
and show you what happens when you bid. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to come back and just kind of give you an idea of what we got and what we think that we're going to get for it. And once the auction ends and you've bid on all the things that you're going to bid on and won all the uh, lots that you're going to win, you're going to get an invoice emailed to you. And it might look something like this. This is what Rosen's looks like. And it'll have their information at the top. It'll also tell you what the buyer's premium is. When we scroll down, we'll see a the opening picture that they had, the lot number, the description. And here's something else to pay close attention to. If you've never bid in an auction, these are sold 13 times the money. Some of the auction lots are just going to be however much the lot is. And other times it's going to be times the number of items. So when I bid $13 on these, it's times 13. So those 13 pairs of shoes cost me $169. And 10% of that, which is the buyer's premium, is $16.90. The 1533, which is the tax, uh, the taxes on this with a tax rate of 8.25. I ended up getting this taken off because I took the tax form up there with me. And so same thing here. You see the quantity that is, that was times six. And on the shirts here, this box, it's a quantity of one. So I spent $385 for 49 pieces. And most of the items in this box were over $100 a piece. So I'll have the premium on top of that and no tax. And the Meehan Aer Aromatics, the Mikado Bark, these, I spent so much on these. These, I, I spent $61 times six. And these sell for $250 to $270 a piece. Uh, but they have a low sell-through rate. So some of these I'm still learning. We'll see what we like. Let's take a look at the last page. It'll have the last of the lots that you bought. Uh, here's another one that these last two, both of them were quantity one. So the shorts and the swimming trunks, which were priced anywhere from $90 to $120 each. And there was 20 of them. Those they took the time to count. But I got them for one bid of $60. And the belts, again, one item. There were four of the Bugatti socks four shoe horns which i don't think are worth anything but the belts were outstanding i'll pop up pictures here in just a minute of some of our favorite items from this haul so when you look here we spent 1892 dollars plus 189 dollars and 29 cents in buyer's premium fees i got the 171 to come off of that and what i want to do now is show you a little bit about when we picked this up. Cool. Oh, there's more than one. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of a gamble when you do that. If you don't preview, you don't know. Oh, there's there's a, quite a few of those. Oh, good. All right. All right. So, did you try any of these on? <laughs> did you see the price of these things? Yes, I did. As we move into the actual lots and what we expect to make, I do want to remind you of something. If you're bidding in bankruptcy auctions, these things are available because someone else had a really bad day, which means that somebody has lost their business. And for Melody and I, that makes a big difference. 
And it's a big part of the reason as we go through these lots, you'll see that we actually give a lot of this stuff away. We're really trying to help other people um, with our business. It's a big part of our business plan. So keep that in mind as we go through these. It isn't always about maximizing the profit. Uh, of course we want to make money, but we also like to make sure that some of this goes to people who can use it. On our first lot, uh, the shoes, most of these modern fit men's warehouse shoes, which are made by Spingle Move, they are super high quality, $325 retail. We are going to give most of these away in every lot. We'll probably sell a couple of them, and even then we're not going to try and max out the dollars. We'll probably get $50 a pair. So on the first lot, um, I think we paid more than what I expect to get out of it, but that's okay. That, that'll bring us up to 100 And you'll see how the numbers work out here even using conservative estimates. Uh, on the next one, we'll give away four of these, sell a couple of them, and that would bring us up to about $200. When you get to our third lot, this is a big, big hit on this one. There weren't 30 pieces, like the auction said, there were 49. I've already given away nine of them, but even on the remaining 40 pieces, I think we'll average $60 because there were six jackets in there that had a retail of $325 a piece, and I, I really think they'll go $175 or $200. So that'll bring my running total up to $2,600. The cologne, I gave away one because it was open. I think maybe it was a tester. But selling the other five, we're not going to try and get $269, which is pretty consistent what they sell for, because I don't want to sit on them. I want to sell them fairly quickly, certainly by Christmas. So we'll probably aim for the $150 each, and that would bring us up to $33.50. And again, the shoes, um, all of these will probably go, or probably to the kids at the high school, something like that. Um, you know, somebody that could really use them. Most of these sizes were fairly large, and this was a men's store, so I think the smallest size we had was like a nine, but we have like size 15, and if, if you have a kid that wears that, um, these, were, these will be terrific for them. All right, this one was awesome. Melody wanted these bracelets so bad, and we had counted them, and we could tell the brands were Pig and & Hen and the Kent & Michael. And when you look up the comps on those, they're really consistently $60 and up. And some of these bracelets were really expensive. Melody's already either absconded with some or given away a total of about 14, leaving us uh, 35 to sell. So assuming I get to sell all 35 of those at $60 a piece, that'll bring our running total up to $54.50. That's not really a given. She may take more of them. Uh, the next one, these are actual Spingle Move. These weren't the collaboration between them and the Modern Fit Men's Warehouse. So all of these will get sold, I think, very conservatively. I'll get $125 a piece. I'll list them higher than that. The, these are super. This is, it's a super brand if you ever come across it. Uh, hard to find outside of Japan, but incredible stuff. On the next one are the shorts. And swimsuits, there, wa there was 20 of these. I've already given away 10. We've got 10 left. They should bring $35 a piece. I think the retail on them was 95 to 115 a pair. And it's brands like, um, like the Fisher and Baker. And there is also a whole bunch of um, Stone Rose, I think is the other brand. And then finally, it brings us up to the belt. And the belt, we uh, have given away a couple of them, but that still leaves us 11 of them if you count the socks I'll put as a lot. Um, I think they're going to bring $30 a piece because a lot of these belts are $100 or better. That would bring our running total up to $7,000, give or take. And we spent $2,082.17 on the auction. And keep in mind, that doesn't include my drive to Dallas, which is about an hour and back in my time, and which would leave us with an estimated profit of $49.22.83, which is plenty. I, I, if we get that out of it, this was a, a solid auction, plus we had a ton of stuff to donate. So if you're interested in doing auctions like this, there's probably something in your area. They're absolutely worth checking out. Appreciate you watching. I'm going to see you real soon on the next one. Bye.